So we've talked about how the far right has terrorized teachers who were supposedly indoctrinating young people into the LGBTQ plus lifestyle as if that's a thing that you can actually do. But now they've switched their targets and they're focusing on doctors, specifically pediatricians at children's hospitals if they provide medically necessary gender affirming care to trans youth. And what they've done is incite harassment against doctors and staffers at several hospitals and it's gotten so out of control that now someone could actually get hurt. Somebody might actually take action and hurt one of these doctors because of the hate that the far right has incited. So the biggest offender, predictably, is the hate account on Twitter known as Libs of TikTok. So over the course of the last week, they've made or shared 14 posts fear-mongering about the gender-affirming care that Boston Children's Hospital provides to their trans patients. Now, this predictably sparked harassment and death threats towards the staff, and knowing that this was the effect, what did Libs of TikTok do? Well, they continue to do exactly the same thing. Fear-mongering about the gender-affirming care offered this time at other hospitals, such as the Phoenix Children's Hospital. But Libs of TikTok was not alone because Matt Walsh, a self-proclaimed theocratic fascist, decided to join in, and he incited harassment against specifically the Boston Children's Hospital. Now, I'm going to play a clip put together by Media Matters, so they juxtapose what he says about the Boston Children's Hospital with a news report from just a couple of days later. Watch the way that his words incited harassment against this hospital. Today on the Matt Walsh Show, children's hospitals around the country are butchering, mutilating, and sterilizing their young patients. So according to Boston Children's Hospital, literally every toddler who has ever been born or will ever be born is trans. Now, if it seems like they're casting the widest imaginable net in order to catch the most children they can and put them all on a path to sterilization and butchery before they can even talk, well, that's because that's exactly what these monsters are doing. And they've done it up until this moment without much resistance from the public. But that has to end. We have to stop making it so easy on them. And that's why I'm in the very early stages of trying to organize a national coordinated effort to fight back against this evil. You know, it's really just a matter of where do we begin? Maybe we begin at Boston Children's Hospital. Boston Children's Hospital says its staff is being threatened and harassed now after far-right activists on social media posted misinformation claiming they perform gender-affirming hysterectomy procedures on young girls. The hospital says it's not true. They do not perform those procedures for anyone under the age of 18. Boston Children's Hospital says it is proud, though, to be home to the first pediatric and adolescent transgender health program in the United States. The hospital, though, now is working with law enforcement to try to better protect its staff in the face of these lies. That, my friends, is what we call stochastic terrorism. His words had a direct impact on that news story. And let's look specifically at what he said. Quote, we have to stop making it so easy on them. What do you think one of your lunatic viewers is going to take away after hearing you say that, Matt? We have to stop making it so easy on them. In other words, take action. He's trying to actually galvanize people to intervene and stop gender affirming care that's being provided to trans youth. He also says, fight back against this evil. And maybe we begin at Boston Children's Hospital. There is no question that this is incitement. And he knew what he was doing. He knew he knew what he was doing. And incitement is exactly what happened because the hospital was bombarded with harassment and death threats so much that they had to release a statement via Twitter saying, in response to commentary last week critical of our gender multi-specialty service program, Boston's Children's Hospital has been the target of a large volume of hostile internet activity, phone calls, and harassing emails, including threats of violence toward our clinicians and staff. We are deeply concerned by these attacks on our clinicians and staff, fueled by misinformation and a lack of understanding standing and respect for our transgender community. Now they go on to explain that the claim that they're performing hysterectomies on minors as a form of gender affirming care is completely false. And they state that they would not do this procedure on a patient under the age of 18. And it says this on their website in bolded letters. All genital surgeries are only performed on patients age 18 and older. So they're lying and they know that they're lying and they're not concerned about genital surgeries being performed on minors because if they were, they'd rally against circumcision. But let me tell you what this is about. This is about them hating queer people and trying to erase queer people out of existence. 
Now, if you're not familiar with the Libs of TikTok account, this is the account that referred to the Trevor Project as a grooming organization. Now, the Trevor Project is an organization that tries to prevent LGBTQ plus youth from committing suicide. Now, this organization became prominent in the early 2010s following a plethora of LGBTQ plus teen suicides, starting with Tyler Clementi. And during this wave, children as young as 13, like Seth Walsh, died after being in a coma for nine days following an attempt to hang himself and he did this after being bullied by his peers because he was gay but according to libs of tiktok that's a grooming organization an organization that literally tries to save the lives of lgbtq plus youth and yet these people are trying to convince us that they're concerned with the well-being of these children no not at all and just to be very clear nothing that the boston children's hospital is doing is illegal or unethical, gender affirming care has been studied for decades. And what they're doing is not only medically necessary, but they're doing what the medical consensus agrees is going to help trans youth. But they don't care because again, it's not about the facts to them. This is about hate. And that's why they incited harassment against the Boston Children's Hospital. Now, in particular, here's some of the messages that they received courtesy of Vice News. The hospital did not specify where the threats were coming from, but Vice News has uncovered some violent threats posted on far-right and extremist platforms targeting the doctors. Quote, long past time to start executing these doctors, a member of a pro-Trump message board formerly known as the Donald wrote under a copy of a video featuring a doctor from the hospital. This message board is the same one whose members last week doxxed and made violent threats against the judge who signed the search warrant that allowed the FBI to search the home of former President Donald Trump. The forum's members encouraged one another to post negative remarks on the hospital's YouTube videos, which were ultimately removed as a result of the influx of comments. Another member posted the phone number of the hospital and encouraged others to call them on the phone. Quote, demons like this do not deserve to breathe. Crimes against humanity equals death, one Telegram user wrote under a link to one of the articles repeating the false claims. Quote, these people are psychopaths and should be locked up, another wrote. On both platforms, the doctors and hospital staff were referred to as pedophiles and groomers attacks that have become a mainstay of republican orthodoxy in recent months so that's the result of their words and they knew that this would happen but they did it anyway because this is what they want it's not just that they're spewing hate they're literally inciting harassment against doctors at a children's hospital at multiple children's hospitals potentially but boston children's hospital in particular they really bear the brunt of this but i mean this is, again, it's not just hate. It's not just bigotry. This is stochastic terrorism. This is an incitement of harassment. This is not freedom of speech. It's not even hate speech. It's worse than that because they actually are trying to get people to take action against doctors who are providing care that, again, is medically necessary to trans youth. And no, that does not include bottom surgery on teenagers. Again, if you were an adult and you qualified for gender-affirming surgery, bottom surgery, it's very difficult to get it in a country with a broken healthcare system like ours. Trans adults have a hard enough time getting bottom surgery because it's so cost prohibitive. So we don't have a universal healthcare system in this country. So to make it seem as if, you know, um, trans youth are willy-nilly getting bottom surgeries, it shows you not just how ignorant they are about gender affirming care, but how stupid they are when it comes to our own healthcare system. They don't know how difficult it is to get any procedures in this country unless you have a lot of money. But that's what they're doing. It's not about the facts. It's not about the surgeries. It's not about the children. This is about trying to erase all queer people out of society. And it's happening socially and culturally through efforts like this, but also legislatively, where governors like Ron DeSantis are not only banning gender affirming care for trans youth, but they're trying to medically detransition teens who have socially transitioned over the years. And when it, when it comes to social transition, we're talking about using different set of pronouns and dressing a certain way, but they're trying to control even that. This is what it's come to. And this is not going to end well, and it's not even the end of this. Like, this isn't as bad as it's going to get, because harassment and incitement of violence against LGBTQ plus people, drag shows, this has been a common phenomenon throughout the entire year. And it always stems from accounts like Libs of TikTok, from individuals like Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro. And if it continues to happen, somebody is going to get hurt. Somebody is going to get killed. A doctor, a teacher, someone. 
and these accounts will have blood on their hands. But that's not going to get them to change their ways because that's the goal. It's not like they'd have a sudden change of heart if somebody actually did violence against a doctor. That's what they want. And, you know, it's not like it's out of the question to worry about a conservative killing a doctor because remember Tiller Tiller, the baby killer? Bill O'Reilly for months incited harassment against an abortion doctor and he was murdered. So the same can happen here. And that's the goal. So this is not free speech. This is stochastic terrorism. And Twitter should not allow accounts like this on their platform. That is literally inciting harassment that could get someone killed.